Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll be going over uh, paramotor aerodynamics, uh, in particular the control and stability. Um, so first, uh, we'll go over the pitch. Um, <clears throat> so uh, people people sometimes think that um, uh, vi aerospace vehicles with the centers of gravity below the wing or rotor have an inherent stability or so-called pendulum stability. Um, this is this concept is incorrect because in, in an actual pendulum, the center of rotation is separated physically from the center of gravity, and therefore you have a rotation arm or a moment arm that the uh, weight force can align with. Um, and any s perturbation from this, this alignment will cause a stabilizing uh, rotation. Um, but in any a freely rotating uh, mass, which would be uh, an aerospace vehicle that does not have a fixed center of rotation, the center of gravity and the center of rotation coincide. They're the same point. So, uh, the, the, so gravity does not have... A st any sort of um, rotational stabilizing force. Um, in the case of the paramotor, the uh, it's essentially the lift to drag ratio of the wing that determines the uh, longitud longitudinal orientation. So in this diagram, uh, our rotation, our moment arm would be uh, from the center of gravity to the center of pressure. Uh, and uh, as you can see, lift and drag have orthogonal components to this moment arm, which causes the which causes rotation. Um, and the balancing of these components causes the stable orientation. So essentially, um, the lift to drag ratio is what determines the pitch orientation of a paramotor or a paraglider. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, as, as many paramotorists or paragliders can attest, pulling on your brake lines causes you to pitch up, and releasing them causes you to pitch down. And we can see that we can make sense of that because pulling up on your brake lines essentially increases your lift and but also increases your drag um, at a greater rate which which decreases the lift to drag ratio which means the vector will tilt this way meaning um, in order to align with this moment arm the the center of pressure has to be pushed backward the wing actually rotates the pilot backward causing a, a pitch up and vice versa with releasing the brake lines. Um, so the next part which is the yaw slash roll is a lot more interesting. Um, it's very different from a regular aircraft or regular airplane. Um, <coughs> So regular aircraft use uh, ailerons to enact a roll, uh, but to, to cause a differential lift. But this differential lift also causes a differential drag. And unfortunately, this differential drag um, sort of causes a yawing, a side-to-side -side motion that is opposing to the roll, which means the, the, the com combination of the raw, raw roll and yaw is they're not like natural they're they don't allow you to steer effectively um, this is what's called adverse yaw um, in in the paramotor or paraglider's case we actually have a yawing with a proverse roll so let me explain um, when you pull on the brake line the differential lift essentially doesn't have much of a control moment um, because the set, the I suppose the 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 force vector essentially goes not exactly through but uh, near the center of gravity, 
so we can we can kind of neglect that the effect of that um, of the increased lift but uh, the drag is very significant uh, this this drag causes a yawing uh, a turning in uh, in our diagram a turning to the right um, and it's due essentially to the inertia the differential inertia of the pilot and the wing that causes a subsequent roll so this yaw causes a roll that's favorable with that yaw so a yaw with a proverse roll essentially um, so this this explanation I'm not 100% confident this is the best explanation but at least it communicates the concept um, so you can kind of think of it as uh, in terms of the centripetal differential centripetal uh, 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 effects on on the pilot and on the wing or, or the pilot and the rest of the equipment um, since the pilot is uh, well in the engine is is a way greater mass than the wing uh, given the same sort of yaw uh, the the centripetal forces required for that for the subsequent turn uh, assuming those are the same they'll have much different the, the pilot and the wing will have much different trajectories and uh, as you can see if you just look at the centripetal force formula and you can kinda get an idea of what the trajectories will be the the pilot will have a much greater trajectory uh, much larger turning radius I mean than the wing and and you can kinda see that this sort of setup uh, in this diagram would cause a roll to the right and this is caused by the uh, a yaw to the right so these are sort of in agreement and allow you to bank um, effectively and uh, yeah so th this is one way to think about it I guess um, uh, th this part was very interesting because it's kinda unique uh, way of controlling aircraft um, and uh, I thought it'd be helpful to make a video about it and explain it because I was kind of wondering about it for a while and just sort of collected some the, some forum posts and put this together um, so if you have any comments uh, if I made any wrong statements or or you have any other suggestions of how to better explain this uh, concept, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening.